All right, so here's the new parts. I'll put these uh, in the description, but brake best cost me about $15. You get bushing, glide pin, the bolt for it. This is what it looks like put together. There's no reason to do this. You gotta take it apart to install it. I just uh, did it to make sure it worked. Uh, so this is what's gonna go in. All right, caliper glide pins. So, got the wheel off. That's my caliper bracket. That's my caliper. And back here, that's the caliper guide pins. Now the bushings look okay on this side, but my other side, they look pretty bad. I'll show you the underside. All right, so that's the top one. Here's the bottom one. The bushing, again, looks pretty decent here. But this is an 04 in 2020, so 16 years old, it needs replaced regardless. So this is a half inch socket. I'm just gonna take this off. It's uh, not on there very tight, so you can just bring it on out. All right, so once you can pull these out, you can kind of check right here and feel if you need to replace them. You know, mine have a little bit of lube on it, but it's gritty. So I can tell that there's rust and dirt in there. You know, it should be real nice and smooth. Yeah, this one as well, it has some grease on it, but it's gritty. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace them so we can pull those out. And now next we're gonna try and uh, put a screwdriver in here and pull the pads out a little bit so that I can pull the caliper off. All right, so now to pull the caliper off, you've got two options. One option is pull these bolts out here and down here and then you can take this whole bracket off or you can leave the bracket in place and you can just pull the caliper off but to do that you have to relieve a little bit of pressure between the pad and the rotor because right now you know your brakes are essentially just stuck onto the uh, rotor so you've got to put a screwdriver in here kind of pry them out without uh, trying to damage your rotor at all that's what the hole in the back here is for as well, for the back pad. And uh, usually that doesn't do it. So you're going to have to hit it a little bit with like a mallet, try and loosen it up. So I'm going to try it on this side and see how it goes. I took the bracket off on the other side, so I'll let you know which one's easier. Okay, so again, just to show you how to kind of release a little bit of pressure off. You take like a flat head. Now you don't want to put it right there, because there you're going to damage your rotor and maybe your brake pad. So you're actually going to want to push like here on the frame of the brake pad and then just flex the screwdriver a little bit. You're going to go around and uh, do that in as many places as you can. Like I said, there's these access holes on the back side to do it. You're not actually going to see it move at all because we're talking about like just hundredth of a millimeter here. But the point is just to break it off. Then I used a socket extension to kind of set on the uh, frame of the caliper. And I can hit this end with the mallet a couple of times. You can hit it pretty hard, not a big deal. Uh, just goal is to break it off. Then uh, it should come out. There's a little tab here that uh, you have to lift up just a hair to get this on the other side. But then so you can see with a little pressure, you can see that uh, it's starting to come off. So the brake pads actually will stay here. We'll just pull the caliper off. So be careful when you do it because you don't want to ever put any weight on this brake line. So use two hands, you know, one up here, one down below to uh, be really gentle. And then you can set the caliper right up here. Okay, ignore everything I said about taking just the caliper off. I've been beating on it for like 10 minutes and as you can see, it's mostly off, but still not all the way. So I'm just taking the whole bracket out. So you need an 18 millimeter socket. I'm gonna put it right here and then down here. We'll be able to take the whole bracket off. Why is it that we do what we do? I'm trying to do something nice for my truck and nothing's going right. All right, I uh, broke my uh, 3 8 inch pry bar. It's a gear wrench, so uh, yeah, gear wrench, not, not good quality. All right, my half inch socket set. Oh, look, I can't find the socket that I need. Searched friggin' everything.
can't find it. So I beat on it with a sledgehammer some more. And then I uh, pushed the C-clamp in there. And I got the C-clamp on the brake piston. I'm going to compress the brake piston right now, which you shouldn't have to do until the very end when it's not mounted to the truck and it's much easier. But hey, you know, we'll see what the heck this does. All right, so I think this was the issue. I've got these little uh, nipples sticking out on the brake pad. And the caliper had pushed all the way up against it, but it couldn't come up over that lip. So I had to compress it, you know, like a tiny bit more with that C-clamp to get it to fit over this lip. So really horrible, horrible design. And this is what the... Uh, Calipers look like removed, so you know I think I was rubbing up against right in here, and you can kind of tell from the scratches that that's what was going on. So uh, yeah, my recommendation: take this off, but uh, you're gonna need a half-inch pry bar or a better three-eighths-inch pry bar. So let's get back to the uh, video here. All right, so there's really no way to test if your glide pins are bad until you're at this point. But at this point, you can test. So for this one, I'm just going to push on the back side. And you can see it's moving back and forth without too much pressure. That's what we want. So this one is good. Here, same thing. See, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and that pin is not moving at all. So, this one, bad. This one, good. Gonna replace them both, because, you know, man, not doing that again. Alright, this is the old caliper slide pin. I pulled this out. There was no grease on it at all, and the pin is stuck in there. As you can see, this boot's messed up. This boot, uh, although it's technically there, it uh, isn't doing anything as this slide has no grease on it. The back one here is in about the exact same condition. So, bought a new set. Old pin compared to new pin. So I've gotta get this out, and I've gotta get this out, and then uh, figure out how to put them in. So I'm going to be using a mallet. We'll see how that goes. All right, beating on it with the hammer actually went pretty easy. As you can see, it's uh, starting to push through there. And you can see there's barely any grease on there, so that's not good. So I can only get it this far with uh, the way I was doing it. So now I'm going to uh, put this bolt in backwards, like so, because the head fits in there. And I'll hit on this end to push it out the rest of the way. Alright, so this is what you end up with. I push this bolt out here. Now you can feel on this. You know, I've got like no no grease at all on that anymore. And on this one, eh, there's actually a little bit of grease on this one that was stuck, but uh, you can see there's rust on it as well. So that rust was preventing it from sliding back and forth like it should so no good all right the bushings we're not reusing them so you just pull them out if they're stuck you can put a little screwdriver around the edge to break them off and then you just pull these two bushings out and then we'll put in the new stuff after we clean it this is what the old bushings look like you know a little bit of rust in there but overall they were in decent shape could probably reuse them just repack them with grease but uh, hey for four dollars why are you gonna do that so now we just want to clean up in here as much as we can, get the little rust out. So if you have like a round file like this, it's nice to run a file through it and clean it up. Uh, if you don't have one, you know, just use a little wire brush and uh, then spray the whole thing with brake parts cleaner. And uh, then we'll work on putting the new one in. All right, that's what it looks like cleaned out. I used a uh, wire brush and a uh, file set to try and work some of the rust out and then use some brake clean to clean it up. And now I'm going to put this in. 
not going to apply any lubricant to the outside of this or in here as it's not going to move where the lubricant is going to go is inside of here for the slide pin but we'll worry about putting that on later just going to shove this in there all right here's the new bushing so you just kind of squeeze it together to get it to fit through this hole And then once it starts to come out the other side, just pull it through. Should end up looking like that. Then take some of the caliper grease. Don't have to go too heavy. Just a little bit. Try and get it inside the lip here. On both sides. Then, take the pen, cover this pen as well. And then you gotta try and fit the pen in here. It's a little difficult, uh, but you know, you just kind of force it in there and the rubber will move around. So I got the first part in, and then, Got to get it over that lip. Through the hole, out the other side, and then make sure that uh, you put the other end of the bushing in the lip. So then you should look like this. That's good. All right, so you're gonna need to make sure that this cap is up, and then put this C-clamp on and you're gonna compress this back down a little bit you can use uh, just a brake pad to pull across it you don't want to do one at a time you want to do them both at the same time so uh, yeah just hook up a C-clamp like that and bring them down until they're about there that's good I'm about to undo the C-clamp showing where I put the caliper grease the brake pads are on the rotors so obviously no grease on the front of the brake pads, but you want to do on the back of the brake pads. I just did where it makes contact with metal here. Did the whole back side of this one as well. And then up on the caliper, you're going to want to do the mating surfaces for those parts, like here, here, here. And then you're going to want to do on your uh, pistons here. Uh, and then obviously, you know, we have some on these pins. And then lubed up the pins nice and good. Get that dog hair out of there. Focus. So about to put this on here, and uh, we'll slide these pins in and uh, screw them on. All right, so got everything back on. Don't forget, this one uh, torques to 22 foot-pounds, so really that's just, uh, you know, tight with a normal-sized wrench. If you took these bad boys off, they're like a 145 foot-pounds, so get a torque wrench and do those. Uh, while you're here, you know, I might recommend uh, topping off your grease, that type of thing. It's also a good time to check your rotor. An easy way to check your rotor is watch that gap right between here, the rotor, and the brake pad. Watch it for uh, play. So you can see right there, I've got a lot of play. And that's because I uh, don't have sockets on the top. So the rotor's loose, <laughs> but you uh, put some sockets on here to hold it in tight, and then you can watch and see if you have a warped rotor. Um, and then yeah, on the back side, I just took out those uh, those 22 foot-pound screws here. I took those out and just put grease on them. I did not unmount the calipers at all because uh, the rear brakes, you know, they don't get near as much work, and they looked in pretty good shape. So it was just a front brake job, but uh, you know, while you're at it, you might as well pull just those two bolts out on each side in the rear and uh, put grease on them, put them back in. All right, good luck. One of the topics that's hot discussion on the internet about this job is what type of grease to use. So this is what I used. Got it at O'Reilly's for about $14. I like that it shows you a little 
diagram here of where to put it. I think the key word here is synthetic. What you don't want is a non-synthetic grease because that's more likely to cause issues with contact with rubber. If you read on the uh, instructions for this, it tells you specifically that it can come in contact with rubber parts. So uh, that's how I felt good about using this one. It's blue. I think that the color uh, shows you what type it is, as uh, I heard a lot of negative things about white grease on brakes. So uh, the applicator is real big, a little hard for working on these small parts, but it did the job. All right, if you're wondering, did the uh, caliper glide pin work fix my problem? Yeah, I took the truck for a drive, and uh, the brakes are definitely noticeably less uh, squeaky. I don't feel that pulse anymore, so I would say worthwhile. Any truck that's uh, super old, do it. And like you can see in the video, anytime you have one of those bushings that rips, you know, really that's, uh, that's going to make you have to do this.